What's good everybody, it's Z from The Mask and today I want to make a bit of a different video. Today we are going to cover how you can create your own trading bots using TradeLocker and their programming AI in order to fully automate your own trading strategies. Regardless of what your system might be, you can tell the computer to make a strategy using that system and if you explain it to the AI well enough, you'll have a fully automized trading robot that will do all of the work for you as long as the app is running in the background. So to get started, what you're going to want to do is head over to either live or demo.tradelocker.com and then slash en slash studio slash download. I will provide a link for this in the description down below so you don't have to type this out manually. What you want to do next is just download this software for Windows and then install it. Now, this is effectively just the normal Trade Locker app. That's all it is. Just the Trade Locker website basically on your desktop. They made an app for it. And then once you're in the app, which I have opened right here, you should get the option to create a new bot if you head on over here to the bots studio. Now, the first thing that is going to happen is you'll be asked to obviously log into your account. You'll be asked to log into your demo account because this is currently just for demos. But soon you will be able to trade this on live accounts, which means right now you're missing out on no profit to spend time developing a bot, make it profitable, make it functional, make it work for you. And then by the time the live accounts are enabled for bot trading, you will immediately be able to just jump right into it with a fully functional trading bot. Now, as an example here, I'm going to create a new bot, which will open this menu here. Again, this is just on the button on the side here in the middle of the screen that says Bots Studio. And all you're going to want to do is just tell the bot or tell the AI in this case what kind of bot you want to actually make. So I'm going to tell it to make a breakout bot. So I will be back once I've done that and explain what I went over. All right, so we're back with the developed, now programmed bot here that we're about to test. You can see here what I said is I'd like you to create a NAS100 breakout trading bot for me that trades trendline breakouts on the five minute time frame. Major highs and lows can also be considered valid breakouts. It should use a 0.01 lot size, basically just for the purpose of testing today, per trade and target a one to three risk to reward ratio. It should only trade during New York session. Basically, over the course of multiple iterations of creating these bots, what you want to do is just be as detailed as possible on exactly how your strategy works and keep adding more and more parameters to it each version so you get a more and more accurate trading bot that basically copies what you do just fully automated. Now, what you can see here is that I have all the Python code for the actual bot generated by the AI. What I'll do is click on View Code. This here. The red thing, everything that's highlighted in red is what is different. So if we go here, you can see, let's remember, define how order notifications are handled. You'll be able to see this right here. All of this red code, which is all the different stuff, is the default code. All the new green stuff here is the updated version. If I now click on apply changes, you can see all of, the, all of a sudden, all of the code here is updated with this script here. Now simply click on backtest, select a time frame, an asset like NAS100, the amount of margin you'd like to put down, and then the start and end date of your backtest. I'm going to test this from about here. I've already done multiple tests and this is about as far back as I can push it before it gives me errors. So you can see here the backtest failed. Check the logs down here. It says 50,000 is larger than, or 50,100 is larger than 50,000. That basically refers to the amount of candles that you're testing. So if I just backtest again and go one day ahead, it should run the backtest no problem. There is a thing sometimes when you give this a prompt where it says that there's been an issue, some kind of error occurred. And at that point, you've accidentally glitched out the AI. And it will not respond to what you're doing, which, by the way, here we have a pretty good result. This is, remember, the first iteration, okay? This is off of one message. And in that time period, it would have generated almost 33% profit over the last about six months, which is pretty good. But back to what I was saying. 
sometimes you'll get a glitch or a bug or whatever it is where the AI will no longer respond to what you say. And if that happens, it should give you like a red message down here somewhere near the chat box that says something went wrong. When that happens, all you have to do is go to your code, copy it, and make a new bot. Additionally, what you can do is just duplicate this bot here. It'll open a new version with a new instance of the AI. You just copy, and when you make a new change, just copy the entire code and then tell the AI the changes you want to make. So what I would do in this instance, if I run into this problem, is I would copy all of this code, go to Control C, then simply duplicate this bot. And you can see here, all of the code is now gone because it's an entirely new instance of the AI. So all I would do is paste my code in here, give it a couple lines of space, and then say, allow it to trade during London. It would basically get all the context from this code and then make the change that you want to make, regardless of the issue that you just ran into. Now, we'll let this finish here for a second. And then I'm just going to open an old bot from a few days ago that I've already developed. I'm going to backtest this one. This is basically just a more developed, more fleshed out version of the bot that I just made that I've been working on over the last few days. And we'll go ahead and run this one and see what this one produces. Now you can see the backtest data, the different versions and everything that I've went through here with the different results. You can pull this out to see more detailed versions, but I just need the ROI and max drawdown. And you can see here, over the last about six months, you can see the span up here, it would have generated about 72% profit with a maximum drawdown of 13%, which is really good. This is roughly like a five ratio of ROI to drawdown, which means that the drawdown fits inside of the ROI five times which is really, really good. Anything above 1.5 to 2, anything above that is usually a very good, very functional and safe bot that you can make a decent bit of money with. Now, like I said, this bot is something I've been working on for a little while. The code isn't super complicated. Obviously, it's, there's not that much to it because it is still just a breakout bot. If you want to have access to this bot, it is in the free Discord server for the channel. You can have access to this bot there. I also post the results of the different bots that I create there. So you can check out that stuff. But yeah, it's really literally as simple as this. You can also then launch your bot like here. Again, pick the time frame, pick the instrument, pick the amount of demo money. You can see on my demo account, I have 450,000. So on this one here, you could just pick the amount you want, launch the bot, and then you'll apply it to the live charts here and it'll show you all of the data on the side. Now I'm going to go back to the bots studio here. And where's the marketplace? Right here. Now here you can actually see other published bots that other people have made and that they have published on the marketplace. And since nothing is available for live accounts right now, these bots are all free, which means you can you can look at all of them, look at all their code, look at the strategy that they're using and just basically copy them if you can't get one to work for yourself. Or if you do get your own to work, you can click here to publish the bot, then select which one you want to publish. So the recent one that I just showed you would be NAS100 here and just fill out all of this here and then you submit it for review and wait a few days for it to be approved. Once you've done that, it'll be freely available here for everyone else to basically take a look at and use. This is a lot of information at the start. It's not exactly simple, right? But if you spend maybe 10, 15 minutes just getting acquainted with the software, just like the Trade Locker Studio thing, get used to it for a little bit, spend some time with it, and you should be able to pretty easily make your own bots. Like I said, the AI is pretty easy to guide in terms of what you want it to do. As long as you just go like step by step, which is what I've been doing, it works pretty damn well. And what I mean by step by step is if I want to have, let's say, a bot that's currently making a couple mistakes, I wouldn't want to fix all those mistakes at once. I'd want to like change one thing, maybe change the, the lot size and then update the version, backtest again, then 
change the asset, backtest again, then change the time frame, backtest again. I don't think you actually have to specify the time frame that you want to trade on. I still do it every time just in case, because when you're backtesting and when you're selecting the bot to run it on the markets, you do select the time frame it runs on. So you don't have to specify it with the bots, though I do it every time anyway, just in case it might make a difference. But this is a really useful tool, especially now when it's still prior to release on the live accounts, because you'll have probably at least another few weeks to just develop and perfect your trading bot to immediately make use of it once it actually comes out for the live accounts. But aside from that, that's about all I have for you in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.